Welcome to our channel www.news.co.id Hello, what's up guys? Meet me again in News CNC channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to count total days between date time picker. Using Visual Basic, we can uh, count the days between two of the time picker. Now, let's make a new project. And for the name application, I will uh, choose count total days. Okay, then click OK. I need two the time picker, one text box, and one button in here. Okay, the time picker, double click, and then one button and one text box. Okay, like this. This is the time picker 1, this is the time picker 2, and this is text box 1. And this is for the text, I want to change to count this, like this. Okay. We will uh, make this click even, and then show the result uh, to count this between two the time picker in here. Okay. Let's double click and count this button. Then, uh, for example, I will dim or declare variable borrow as the time. Like this. Convert to the time. And this is our the time picker one. Okay, the text, no reset text, just put text. I'm sorry, dot text, the time picker one dot text. Sorry, guys, okay, like this. And then just copy paste here. I will declare back, and this is for the time picker too, like this. Then I will uh, declare again count this as time span in here using back. Uh, subtract here with a borrow date <laughs> okay. and the total this total this equal to convert that to in Thirty two like this on this dot back. Sorry, it's back. I mean, it's this guys. I'm sorry. And this is conditional statement if uh, convert thirty two. In here for count this that this it's uh, more than equal uh, zero than textbook one the text equal to tot total days like this
this else music block list check did one and the again critical okay not dice like this let's try to uh, start uh, this project guys okay uh, let's try if I'm using uh, data time picker one for uh, borrow something for example I'm borrow uh, one book in that one and we'll back in 20 let's count this okay 19 if I borrow in 2 you can see uh, 18 if 11 it's 9 or if 19 it's 8 however uh, sometimes user is false input for example I borrow a book in 7 did at least and the user falls to uh, back in the reverse reverse day like this in one so it will make the mistakes function please check that one and did and two again this is not like this uh, because uh, the date is not back so uh, we just use using seven for example we can uh, back into seven or uh, more than okay zero if seven if I back in eight it's one days okay okay that's all guys how to count uh, total days using visualbasic.net you can download this project into www.loose.go.id slash web slash v Okay, thanks for watching and bye-bye.